Now tell me how much you are putting, you are, inv you are investing in your key sectors in Ghana this year. Actually, let me start with the extractive industry governance sector, where we are investing uh, a little over 2 million Ghana cities in our investments within the area to cover aspects of work around legal and policy issues around extractives, but issues around beneficial ownership, community consultations, work around reducing the effects of adverse uh, economic, social, or environmental impact on the communities as well. Okay, so that's for the extractive industry. How about gender? Uh, we, in the gender, uh, they are all part of what we call the enhancing uh, social services in the country where work around education, health, and also broader inequality is a team. We're investing a little over four million Ghana cities in these sectors. And it covers such work around our work in health, as I said, our work in education. But you know that some of the challenges we have in inequality are around women or girls' participation in education but also the access that women have to maternal and child care, which has implications on the equality issues around the particular team. Okay. Um, I know you have, you're doing more of advocacy. Yes, yes, yes. What else are you doing aside advocacy, which I know, in these sectors, for which reason you're investing? Actually, it's important to say that uh, we have a change agenda in the country. And that is uh, a country with an improved quality of life, characterized by active citizenship and proper investments in the social sector. We appreciate that this requires work around different facets of life. We have a geographic responsibility for Ghana. That means work we do on the ground with our partners is actually to either have innovative solutions, footprints on the ground, as basis to let the country policymakers understand that this works, and based on that, we will influence for it to have a broader character. So fair to say that we work in advocacy, but we work with what are called evidence-based advocacy, which is based on some of our interventions on the ground. We're also conscious that some of the challenges we face in Ghana are actually beyond the boundaries of Ghana. They have implications on regional, global initiatives. So how do we ensure that Compliance around global Africa-wide regulations are done. For example, if you look at the um, Africa Mining Vision by the African Union, which enjoins countries to make sure that extractives, for example, people do not uh, suffer a lot from extractive, but then investment in extractives should also support the poor. How do we make sure that things like this are localized into the country? Okay. Now, I know one of the key areas which is dear to Oxfam mm. is agriculture. Yes, yes, yes. What, how much are you putting in there to and which areas is that going to cover? We are, we, are, we are investing in the economic, we call it the economic justice and agricultural governance portfolio. We are actually investing 4.7 million Ghana cities in work. That's the highest in all the four sectors? Yes, it is the highest in all the sectors and it is the highest in the sector because the agricultural challenges in the country are high. That is also the area that the youth participate. That is also the area that women you know, we do have a lot of subsistence farmers, so if you also want to look at investment in agriculture as an inequality issue, you have to invest more resources into that particular uh, sector. Then I guess it's an increase over whatever you invested in the sector in 2016, because the figures we're talking about are 2017 figures. Is that an improvement? Is the investment an improvement over last year? The investment is an improvement over the last years because we have realized over the years that if you want to make tangible changes or gains, you have to invest there. But fair to say that this year we are starting a new initiative that is funded by the European Union on what we call the EU Fisheries Project that is supporting some work around some coastal districts in the country. It comes with a lot of resources, so that has also had an impact on the level of investment we, work, we have in that particular uh, sector this year. Do you have any, can you give me a figure of head, how much percentage-wise or concrete figures, how much increase we have over the 2016 investment? I mean, it's between 30 to 40 percent increase, as you, mm. as you tell. It is, but as I told you, it is a result of uh, the successes we had mm -hmm. in raising some resources from the European Commission, which was also uh, 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 based on uh, our work. 
Then also we had a, a project actually called the Systems Innovation for Women's Economic Empowerment. We got resources from that sector as well to start this year. And that has also increased the portfolio of investment we have in the agri-sector.